So when it comes to tracking conversions inside of Facebook, there's actually two types of conversion events that you can use. You can either choose custom conversions or standard events. Now, most beginners tend to lean towards custom conversions because they're a little bit scared of standard events because you actually have to modify your Facebook pixel in order to have a standard event function for you. However, there are a lot of advantages for using standard events over custom conversions, and it's a lot easier to set up than you actually think. If you can copy and paste, you can set up a standard event. So let's break it down. What's up everybody, Alvaro here from Alvaro Barros Digital, and today I am going to distill and break down and make you confident enough to go ahead and start using standard events. So like I said, there's two types of conversions, custom conversions and standard events. The thing about custom conversions is that there's a lot of disadvantages to them. First and foremost is that they don't actually talk to one another. So let's say you're running three different lead generation campaigns to three different lead magnets and they all have three different custom conversions. Well, lead magnet number one, the data collected there, it's not going to share that data with campaigns two and three and then campaigns two and three aren't going to share their data with campaign number one. All of them are working in silos and you're missing the opportunity to gather all that data and have the campaigns feed off of one another. With standard events, you only have to add your standard events probably only once inside of aggregated event measurement. Maybe every once in a while, you might have to go there once in a blue moon to update your standard events in aggregated event measurement. But honestly, the vast majority of people, you're only gonna go in there just once to do it. And then the other benefit is that they're all going going to be sharing the same data across one another. So if I have three different uh, lead generation campaigns all using the lead standard event, even though they're going to three different lead magnets, each campaign is going to be sharing its lead data with one another because it's all the same conversion event. And so they're all going to gather more data more quickly, which is fuel for the algorithm, which means they're going to optimize better more quickly. Now, one thing to be aware of is that there actually are some platforms that automatically add standard events for you. So if you're on a platform like Kajabi or Shopify, guess what? There's no work required on your one to set up standard events. So you can just go start building your campaigns and use the standard events as your conversion events. However, for most other platforms, you do have to set them up yourself. But as long as you can copy and paste, it's actually a very simple process. You can either do it manually or you can do it through Google Tag Manager. In this video, I'm going to focus on the manual method. Okay, so in this example, I'm specifically going to set up a lead standard event so I can run a lead generation. Now the process is going to be exactly the same whether you want to use the purchase standard event, initiate checkout standard event, whatever it may be. Uh, it's just specific to lead generation in this case. The other thing I want to quickly clarify is that here I am inside of a platform called uh, Convertry. Uh, and so obviously the process is going to be slightly different whether you're on Convertry or Instapage or ClickFunnels or lead pages, whatever it might be. Obviously the interface is going to be different across all those platforms, but the overarching steps are going to be exactly the same. So here in this case, I'm on the thank you page where people will land after they opt into the lead magnet. So then I'm going to go here to page and then custom scripts right here. Again, it'll probably be called something different on whatever platform you're using, uh, but I'm going to hit on add page script. And then this is where I want to be. I want to go ahead and add my lead magnet. So I'm going to call this FB pixel. And then I can put a description on there if I want to. Uh, but for me, just having it called FB pixel is fun. Fine. Uh, run on page load. Yes, that's what I want. And I want this to go in the head. I never want my pixel to go in the body uh, because I want it to load as quickly as possible. And so I put by putting in the head, it will load faster. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my pixel from another page right here. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there. So there's my pixel right there. So whatever platform you're using, you want to go to wherever section it allows you to post the pixel in the head script just like that. But this is just my regular old pixel, right? There's nothing different about it. Um, so it wouldn't record any leads at that point. I do, I do have to manually add the ability to track um, uh, lead, lead events on here. So what I'm going to do is go and do a Google search of Facebook uh, standard events. I already have it saved right there. And you want to just click on the very first link that you see right there. 
So here are all of Facebook's standard events. Uh, add payment info, add to cart, add to wish list, complete registration, contact, customize, so on and so forth. Like I said, most people, they're probably only going to use a maximum of four to five of these. Um, I've really never been in any account that uses more than five different um, standard events. So they have the name of the standard events over here. And then over here is the actual code for that standard event. So it's very easy. All I have to do is copy and paste. So this is for a lead generation campaign. And so here's the lead one. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to go back to my landing page here. And then right after the page view event right there, I'm going to hit enter. And then that is where I want to paste my uh, Facebook standard event uh, right after the page view. And then we'll go ahead and click save done. And then I would go ahead and click publish. And that is how you set it up. So very simple, very straightforward. It's literally just a copy and paste job. So it's definitely worth using these going forward. All right. So there is my tutorial on standard events. Now this is the manual way of setting up your standard events. You can also set them up through Google tag manager, which I will be covering in next week's video. So definitely stay tuned for that, but hopefully you now see the benefits, the strong benefits of using standard events over custom conversions. So go ahead and set them up. Let me know how it goes. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.